If we want to decode Egyptian symbolism, we should look for clues in the ancient language that Hakim learned as a child from his elders, living along the Band of Peace. Looking at the many images left by the Egyptians, we have assumed that they were obsessed with death. Turning to the ancient Suf language, however, we learn that they didn't even have a word for death. They called it Westing. We have no word of death in our culture. No word death. And uh, to express this operation of <laughs> this, we say westing, uh, you know, uh, go going towards west, like the sun rises from the east, and it's westing. So there is no uh, word of death here. When they believe in resurrection, if the sun sets in the west, the resurrection happens in the next day, when the sun rises in the next day. So the deceased believe that it's just like the sun. The Egyptians obviously had a very different world view from ours today. They believed in the afterlife and the soul's immortality. Was it possible at all that they had found some sort of science of immortality, for example, we call it, as crazy as it may seem, uh, they seemed to be very, very convinced that they knew how to send the king to his cosmic world. Those stellar gods uh, of whom the king believed that he himself would become one stellar god after his death, constructed monuments and performed rituals that mimic the events that they saw in the sky. It sounds against all the tenets of our scientific beliefs, but we have to see why they were so convinced. The ancient Egyptians perceived the land as a cosmic environment, that it followed the activities of the sky because they believed them to be uh, running in parallel. And they had reasons to believe that. Uh, one of the main reasons was the cycles of the Nile. The Nile was the lifeblood of Egypt, and it performed the cycle, which followed the cycle of the sun and the stars. Uh, it's not surprising at all that they associated the, the reappearance of the stars with the rebirth of the Nile. Essentially, this, this star religion, if you like, boiled down to one important aspect, that it somehow could help the king become a spiritual being and return to the cosmic world in a specific place with Orion and, and so forth.